Um, hello everybody, uh, my name is Hajj and this video is a follow-up on uh, how to stack Nikon F-mount teleconverters. I was testing the Nikon Z9 with up to a 16,000 mm lens and I will talk about uh, field of view, um, practicability of the setup, autofocus and of course uh, image quality. My first uh, test subject was uh, a great heron and um, here is the scene at 50 millimeter. In terms of field of view, uh, the results were very impressive, um, but unfortunately I could not uh, test uh, the free stacked teleconverter uh, because the camera showed a uh, lens error. In addition, uh, it was very difficult to stabilize the setup, especially at 16,000 mm. And at this focal length, it was also very difficult actually to find the subject. So I decided to uh, use a static subject for my second test. I was focusing on a tower very far away and here are the um, field of view result. Um, in addition, I find out as well that actually it is very handy the high res zoom function in the camera for videography. In terms of autofocus, I was very impressed with the Nikon Z9 because uh, I could not uh, find any uh, significant difference uh, between a bare lens and a lens with a, a teleconverter attached on it. The focus acquisition speed was very fast. Um, the subject detection and the tracking uh, still work nicely even with a two times teleconverter. And although um, the autofocus capability um, dropped a little bit while stacking uh, teleconverters, uh, it was still usable even with uh, stacked two two times teleconverters. Uh, however, in terms of uh, image quality, I think I will not use uh, stacked teleconverter for still image, but for videography, I think um, it is uh, very acceptable, even with stacked two two times teleconverters. And the high res zoom function in the camera can still be used, of course, if uh, more reach is needed. Um, about the lens error message that I uh, saw while using free stacked uh, teleconverters, I think it has something to do with the, the lens, because this lens is uh, a D-type lens rather than the camera because uh, I was uh, testing the same setup with uh, this 200 to 500 millimeters VR lens with the Z9 and the autofocus was still uh, working. However, um, it was unreliable and uh, very slow. Um, I was also um, quite surprised that actually the Sigma uh, teleconverter works um, with a Nikon lens on the Z9 uh, body, while uh, the Sigma teleconverter um, with Nikon lens were incompatible with uh, DSLR cameras. So, this um, Nikon uh, Z9 camera is still keeping surprising me every time I'm using it. Um, the learning curve is um, quite steep and I'd say um, I'm not mastering the camera yet. So those were my findings when stacking uh, Nikon F-mount uh, teleconverters on the Nikon uh, Z9. And I will see you then uh, on the next video. Until next time then, bye.